हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई एम डॉक्टर जयदेव पंचवाक आई एम चेयरमैन ऑफ साइनैप्स ब्रेन एंड स्पाइन फाउंडेशन एंड अ फाउंडिंग मेंबर ऑफ न्यूरोचिरोजिशियल हिल फॉर इंडियन व्हिच इज अ इंडो जर्मन न्यूरोसर्जरी फाउंडेशन आई एम प्रैक्टिसिंग न्यूरोसर्जन इन पुणे फॉर द लास्ट ट्वेंटी ईयर्स एंड आई एम अ कंसल्टेंट न्यूरोसर्जन एट सह्याद्री हॉस्पिटल मेनी पीपल हैव आस्क मी अबाउट द types of surgery available for brain tumors and let me tell you that in last 10 to 15 years the surgery for brain tumor has changed completely it has become effective it has become safe and it has given many people not only their lives back but their functions have been kept intact if someone asks me what do i look at when i look at scan or mri scan of a brain tumor my first answer is that i look at the tumor first but immediately i look at the areas around the main brain tumor because our aim is not only to remove the tumor because with modern technology now we are able to remove them uh, with very high degree of success but the real aim is to keep the other areas of the brain intact and to keep the functions of that human being intact so that he can go back to his work he can uh, earn and support his family whatever his uh, profession may be so what are the advanced technologies which have come and matured especially in last uh, 10 to 15 years that we are using to treat Uh, brain tumors the first that comes to my mind is the improvements in neurosurgical microscope so neurosurgical microscope does two things it gives fantastic illumination in the depths of brain in the crevices where we operate in the depths of brain in a very intricate uh, pathology and anatomy this illumination is unmatched in the uh, microscope which are available uh, nowadays also the magnification and quality of image of the microscope it has improved dramatically now we see structures which uh, we were not able to see before very very clearly the third improvement in microscope is to be able to see blood vessels uh, in action that is you can see actually flow inside the blood vessels surrounding the tumors or surrounding important structures when we inject a specific dye called as icg or indocyanin green and uh, this dye actually is seen under a specific filters of modern neuro microscope so what it does it helps us to prevent injury to these important blood vessels and that's why these areas of the brain are actually uh, preserved very beautifully uh another improvement which is coming very rapidly is certain chemicals which can be injected at the time of surgery inside the venous system and they are seen as different color when you look at the tumor the tumor cells take up these chemicals and under a specific filter of the microscope you will see tumor cells of different color than brain so you can actually be sure that you have resected the brain tumor completely because if some portion is remaining behind then you will see those lighted up cells there this technology of course is still not mature but it has got great promise uh, the fourth ability of modern neuro microscopes is to be uh, able to get integrated with what is neuro navigation and that is my a uh, next uh, item in the technology which has changed brain surgery so neuro navigation is actually a computer guided knowledge about where you are in the brain when you are operating now how it is done the mri done before the surgery is uh, actually fused with the present coordinates with the machine and then you get this information so neuro navigation can be integrated with neuro microscope you can actually see where you are inside the brain 
The second technology I was uh, going to talk about is neuro navigation. Neuro navigation, as I said, is uh, leading a person to a specific pathology without causing any problems. Navigation was used by uh, seafarers when they used to go on high seas uh, because they needed to be navigated. So the navigation word has come from there. So you, when you are operating on brain tumors, you, sometimes you can get lost. So navigation doesn't allow you to do that. So neuro navigation is a very important uh, addition to the uh, technology. The third technology which has helped in brain tumor surgery is uh, neurosurgical or brain endoscopes. Specific tumors which are located inside the ventricular systems, now we can remove through only a small one centimeter diameter hole with the help of modern endoscopes. You can navigate the endoscope uh, to the tumor, uh, for example, a colloid cyst of the third ventricle, this example of a tumor can be removed with the help of endoscope. And the beauty of this is that you don't have to make a big opening inside the skull. But don't be under impression that all tumors can be operated like that. But there are specific indications for specific things and things have to be used just for those indications. Another technology uh, which has come up very fast and it has been helping us is the ability to map the brain during surgery. As we all know, brain is divided into different uh, areas, functional areas. Now, whether brain functions as a whole organ or there are different areas which can be demarcated, there's a lot of controversies going on. But by and large, there are separate demarcable areas. So if, for example, I'm operating in an area which is near the speech area on the left side and uh, I want during surgery when I have exposed the brain to actually see whether a particular area that I'm going to uh, uh, deal with has got speech there or it is in that particular person it is slightly away from that area that can be done at the time of surgery so it is a very very important advance and it, the, all these advances are rapidly maturing another advance that has come is what is called as QSA it is an ultrasonic machine with the tip vibrating at a very very high speed and uh, it separates when it is applied to the tumor, it separates the tumor cells without causing pull on the surrounding brain and also helping us to preserve the blood vessels inside the, uh, inside the tumor, especially the blood vessels which are going through the tumor and supplying some other area. These blood vessels can be very beautifully preserved. So all these advances are helping humankind and helping especially us neurosurgeons to uh, resect the tumors safely and keeping uh, people intact at the end of the surgery. The only thing that we have to remember is diagnosing them early is also very important and that requires public education. And uh, you can refer to our other video where I have spoken about uh, the early symptoms of brain tumors so watch that video share it with people so many people know about how to uh, diagnose these tumors early you know you can have a neighbor you can have a colleague and you can see these symptoms in these people and you can you know diagnose them early it is very important so with with this message uh, i am dr jaydev panchavak and uh, please keep on watching these videos for more information if you have any queries you can write to us to the best of our ability we will reply to you but be our partners in uh, spreading knowledge about early symptoms and the the technologies involved in brain tumor surgery to give strength to the sufferers thank you very much